published 0910 EDT, 1 October 2017 update at 0921 EDT, 1 October 2017 The Sheffield Wednesday manager Carlos Carvalho bemoaned the fast food society in football last week, and the fear for the Portuguese manager was that he might be eaten up if Wednesday lost a third game in a week. To his great credit, Carvalho's players responded with a vivid performance that made Leeds United, initially vibrant, look brittle. Goals from Gary Hooper and Kieran Lee meant that Wednesday avoided a third consecutive defeat, but for Leeds it is now three losses in a row away from home, and Thomas Christensen must have concerns. Sheffield Wednesday celebrates scoring in their win over Leeds in the Sky Bear Championship Gary Hooper times his run perfectly to score Sheffield Wednesday's opening goal Kieran Lee celebrates scoring the hosts third with a wonderful strike from distance Sheffield Wednesday Wild Smith, Hunt Palmer, 38, Lees, Van Akand, Rich, Lee, Jones, Bannon, Butterfield, 86, Wallace, Fletcher Rhodes, 92, Hooper subs not used new Hugh, Lucas Jolo, Dawson, Putel booked Palmer leads Weedwald, Ailing, Jansen Dallas, 70, Pennington, Berardi, Phillips, Akane, Ruth Hernandez, 62, Samuel, Elioski Sacco, 62, Lasaga subs not used Lonargan, Grot, Vieira, Shaughnessy booked Nerefuri Andrew Madley Hooper scored twice in the first half to make it seven goals in his last seven matches, Lee adding a 20-yard drive eight minutes from the end. That was bad enough for Leeds, but it could have been worse. They lost 60 here in 2014 under Brian McDermott, and the Owls could have reached the tally again, but for refereeing decisions and the woodwork, both Barry Bannon and Hooper hit it. It should restore some calm for Carvalho, whose chairman, Dej Fanchansiri, had taken a seat on the bench before kickoff. It was a pulsating first half, which should have ended 41 to Wednesday. Aside from the two goals they did score, there was a Lee effort on the half-hour disallowed for a questionable offside, while Stephen Fletcher somehow missed the target with a four-yard header three minutes later. That came from a Ross Wallace cross from the right flank, where the left-footed midfielder was causing Leeds havoc. Sheffield Wednesday's Stephen Fletcher jumps with Leeds Luke Ailing for the ball Leeds manager Thomas Christensen watches his side in an entertaining first half the striker added a second from a similar position, this time with a well-guided heteriute for the first 20 minutes, Wallace and his Wednesday colleagues were mainly chasing Leeds. With the skillful Samuel says weaving his way past defenders, Leeds were attacking with Manus. On 12 minutes Kima Roof took too long to cross went free in the Owls area, and three minutes later Says drove down the right and supplied a perfect cross to Ezgjan Elioski. Unmarked at the far post, Elioski placed a firm header wide. Still, this was promising for the visitors. But Wednesday were not rattled and began to build. Adam Reach forced the first save of the afternoon from Felix Weedwald, and in the 25th minute Carvajal's team were in front. The breakthrough stemmed from Wallace. His free kick from the right was met by Wednesday captain Tom Lees. His header across goal was there to be attacked by either defender or attacker, but it was the hungry Hooper who got to it first, his toe poke beating Weedwald. Hooper has now scored seven goals in the past seven appearances for Sheffield Wednesday Leeds Pontus Jansen was taking off on a stretcher after a collision with his own player as Leeds went from visible to invisible, Wednesday probed again and again. Three minutes before halftime they got their deserved equaliser. Again it came from the right, this time from substitute Liam Palmer. Fletcher rose above Luke Ailing to win yet another header. Hooper, lurking, greeted it with one of his own. Leeds had disappeared. Christensen needed to bring them back and Pierre-Michel Lasaga almost did, just that straight from the restart, the Leeds number nine striking an upright with a poacher shot. Pontus Jansen then had a header cleared off the line by Lee. This was not their day. Kima Roof jumps ahead of Wednesday's Barry Bannon in their fixture on Sunday Wednesday's Kieran Lee, battling with Yunin Akane, had a goal ruled out for offside. 